Hello, and thank you, Women in Nuclear, for inviting me to speak at your annual conference. And I'm sorry I can't be with you in Manchester today, but I hope that I'll get to meet some of you in person soon. In fact, I expect I've met some of you already in person as well. As I'm sure you're all aware, the Prime Minister recently published for the government a British energy security strategy, which placed nuclear, and therefore you, at the heart of our plans to create a clean and secure energy system. And I am proud that the UK was the first civil nuclear nation. who We pioneered nuclear technology, and it has powered our country for 60 years. And as we decarbonise and look for a steady load of clean electricity to complement our renewables mix, the size and importance of the nuclear sector will grow. We want to deliver up to 24 gigawatts of nuclear power by 2050, approximately three times what we do today. This, remains re this means reversing decades of underinvestment and replacing the fleet that will shortly be decommissioned. We will reach final investment decision on a new nuclear project this Parliament and have expressed our ambition to approve eight new reactors in the future by the end of the decade. We will work with the best of the best in the sector to ensure that this vision can come to fruition. We've already seen investment in large-scale plants like Hinkley C and Sizewell, as well as in small modular reactors made by companies like Rolls-Royce. And these projects, and the ones that come after them, will need a vast range of highly skilled people, such as nuclear scientists, project managers and inspectors. We'll need people to manage the legacy as we take our responsibilities in this area extremely seriously. Last week, I introduced our national cyber security strategy, which, sorry, our nuclear cyber security strategy, which lays out how we intend to protect our civil system from cyber attack. And we will need people to effectively manage and mitigate an evolving cyber risk. There must be an equitable mix of men and women in these roles. For too long, nuclear has been a man's game, with women only making up about 20% of the workforce. The barriers to female success in the field must be removed to ensure businesses have diversity of thought and a mix of skills to innovate and operate effectively. Through the nuclear sector deal, we have committed to a target of 40% women in nuclear by 2030. And along with the NSSG and Women in Nuclear, we brought employers on board to support this target. It's encouraging to see there's already been an increase in young women entering the industry. Indeed, when I was at Hinkley Point last month, I had a great chat with a young lady who was in a replica control room, and she gave an enthusiastic demonstration of how it all worked. And just last week, I visited uh, Wilfer uh, with the Secretary of State uh, in the presence of uh, one of our, they're called the Atomic Kittens, our two uh, leading female MP advocates for nuclear. Uh, Virginia Crosby, the MP for Anglesey, and Trudy Harrison, the MP for Copeland. And it was great to see Wilfer, and I met the industry to discuss the potential of that site. And I was pleased to see female representation in these discussions, and hear industry reaffirm their commitment to reaching this 40% target. But that's just a few examples amongst the very many men I also met. So clearly more needs to be done to get more women into the industry at all levels. Last week, we announced a £120 million government fund designed to unlock and accelerate new nuclear technologies. We are also setting up the Great British Nuclear Vehicle, tasked with helping company projects through every stage of the development process and developing a resilient pipeline of nuclear new builds. So we need more female leaders in this industry. We will continue to work on the Equal by 30 campaign, which aims for equal pay, leadership and opportunities for women. We are proud to champion your work at Women in Nuclear, because we know that only when men and women have equal footing in the workplace will a business's true potential be realised. I hope you'll enjoy the conference and I look forward to continuing our conversations about women in nuclear as this industry grows and thrives. Thank you very much indeed for your attention.